So you're either going in this room or down front where they come in. Well, they also come in here, and th th this is where I this is where I need to be. Freaking.com. So the last time I was here, um, as you may recall, I, I got here pretty much on time, you know, maybe 20 minutes before the meeting was supposed to start, and they were all already in there meeting with some unannounced thing, uh, and I couldn't talk to any of them on the way in. I had to wait until they all left, by which time word had gotten around that there was a reporter, and he was asking, you know, nasty questions, and no one wanted to talk to me. I can live with that, but it's not ideal. Thank you. In this case, the meeting is supposed to start at 1. I've gotten here much earlier, partly so I can go through this process without any hurry. And we'll see how long it takes for someone to get down here to, to help me. Okay, the phone's over there. I'm sorry. I've gone a third time I've been down to the desk. Um, if you dial 10607, the lady that was going to come down, she got tied up, but she can talk to you. 10607? 10607. Okay, thanks. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Yeah, I, um, I think this is the correct number to call for me to get access. Okay, I'm down here and ready for access. Uh, the Guardian Ad Litem meeting. I'm here for that. Am I required to answer your questions? I'm a reporter. I'm supposed to be the one asking them. <laughs> okay, she's asking me right now, what am I here to record that for, quote unquote? And I'm telling you in response that I'm not required to answer your questions as a reporter. There's no law requiring me to answer uh, questions from a government official. I'm just supposed to be able to show up and do my job. She says, quote, just not sure why you're recording that meeting today, unquote. Uh, again, I'm not required to tell you anything about why I'm recording a meeting. Have you never had a reporter here before? Well, it's good to, it's good to, uh, it's good to have a first time then. I mean, apparently there's been no sunlight shown whatsoever on this endeavor if there's been no reporter here. All right, she says, quote, I'll be down in a few minutes, unquote. Now, during that conversation, before she, before I started explaining to you exactly what she was saying, one of the things she said was that it was her board. She was asking me what kind of, I guess, why I wanted to film or something like that. Was a, I don't remember the exact words. Hi. How are you, Chris? Yeah. All right. Thanks for coming down. Sure. I need to. Pardon? So I'm to filming now to document the process of how difficult or easy it is to get access to the public meeting. This is the most difficult one I've ever had to access so far. Well, it usually isn't. It? Usually we know in advance that someone's coming to record, yeah. coming as a public member, so Thanks. it's not usually that hard. We have a guide in Atlanta meetings. Okay, thanks. Okay, and you're on your own. Okay, okay, that's how I like to be. I don't like having to bother you and get right. you to, well, I don't necessarily need to be locked oh, in. No, no, you won't be locked yeah, in. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, so I'll be back. Okay. The, the meetings We're both in uncharted territory. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so um, when the board members come, they'll sit at the table and, and you'll be sitting back here, okay? Sure, yeah. All right. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. You... We have to stay in there, though, because we can't have you wandering around. Well, the thing the is, uh, uh, part of reporting is talking to people on their way to meetings. Uh, not everybody just films meetings. Okay. So I need to be able to talk to them. But I don't want to disrupt the meetings if, they, right. if they're in here while I'm talking to them. Do you understand what my yeah. concern? Yep, I do. Um, my concern is they're not going to be here till like, quarter, quarter of one. So I can't have you bugging people that work here who have nothing to do with the Guardian Ad Lighting Board. Do you understand that? Yeah, I don't... I don't have a plan to do that. I mean, if a state rep walks past me and I have a question for them about something I already know about, I'm not going to promise not to ask them. Well, you won't have any state reps because just workers today, and this is the only meeting that you have. 
Okay. So, uh, okay, Pam. Thank you very much. So you're either going to be in this room or down front where they come in. Well, they also come in here, and th th this is where I this is where I need to be is where they're coming in again because if I'm asking them questions in here, yeah. that could interrupt what's going on up front. Does that make sense? Once the meeting starts, I won't have you interrupting. But uh, my concern is that nobody is going to be here from the Guardian and Lighting Board till quarter of one. Has it occurred to you that maybe these meetings should be at the State House, <laughs> no, where people can get in and, the and leave? Guardian and Lighting Board is located, so they, my board members come here if we have. Um, We've had hearings, and they're held downstairs in one of the bigger boardrooms. Yeah. So this is just a regular meeting. Public is welcome, of course. But at I don't feel very. Now, I mean, you're being nice yeah, and in your demeanor, but I don't feel welcome. Only because I'm frustrated because it, the meeting, board members aren't going to be here till quarter of quarter of one. Well, I got here, er, you know, er, about that early for the medical board meeting a, yep. a few months ago. It was uh, well, several months ago at yeah. least. And I got here about. 20, 30 minutes early, and they were already in there doing something unscheduled. So yeah, every board is different. Yeah. This board, I know my board members, so they're not going to be here that late. So if if you feel you need to go in and out of that room, um, just keep in mind that people work here that have nothing to do with the guardian ad litem board. Yeah. Because that's just me, and I'm on my way out the door for a few minutes. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'll try to be as unobtrusive as possible, but okay. I may have some questions for people who I think are responsible for this or that. Okay. So, well, I'm right. the only one responsible for Donnie and that item board. The first members will be here around probably about quarter of one. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. Keene, New Hampshire, the capital of libertarian civil disobedience. The folks over at freekeen.com believe this is the place you should be if you believe in peaceful non-cooperation. Freekeen.com invites you to the beautiful hills of western New Hampshire and invites you to join their peaceful evolution. Freekeen.com